Friend, before we get started today, don't forget to give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you will never again miss any of the upcoming Focus on Faith Timeless Testimonies. And if you'd like to check out the entire video series of Timeless Testimonies, then just click the link below and select the interview you'd like to see. So come on, now let's get this episode started and sit back, relax, and enjoy this portrait of faith. Welcome to Focus on Faith, the program that brings you portraits of faith from across the nation. Join us as we bring you the faith of men and women from all walks of life who truly represent the spirit of America as we focus on faith. Greetings and welcome to Focus on Faith. I'm Cindy Anderson, bringing you a worldwide fellowship of Christians in action. George Lee Sparky Anderson was one of the great baseball men of all time, both in terms of success, integrity, and personality. He led the Cincinnati Reds to back-to-back -back championships in 1975 and in 1976. And he led the Detroit Tigers to a World Series title in 1984 becoming the first manager to win the World Series in both leagues. Now, four times in his career, teams he managed won more than 100 games, and in six other seasons, his team won at least 90 games. In his 26 years managing in the majors, Anderson amassed 2,194 victories, five pennants, and three World Series championships. He was named American League Manager of the Year in 1984 and 1987 and was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2000. Sparky Anderson passed away in 2010, leaving an amazing legacy in baseball. Sparky was survived by his wife of 57 years, Carol, his sons and daughter, and eight grandchildren. Now, here's a little background on this interview, focus on faith was at Marchant Stadium in Lakeland, Florida in the mid-1980s during the Detroit Tigers spring training camp to interview some of the players when, to our surprise, Sparky, then manager of the Tigers, stopped by to spend a few moments with us and share his personal, timeless testimony of faith. As you know, most of our interviews have been seen on public television and cable networks, but this interview has never been aired before. So you're about to see the world premiere, now available through Telemissions International's new Life's Lighthouse series of programs. We hope you enjoy this interview, and if you like this series of videos, then leave a thumbs up, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. And please share it as much as you can. And now, you can check out the entire series of Focus on Faith by clicking the link below, or by tuning into our new podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Buzzsprout. Thank you for watching. Focus on Faith. Today, Focus on Faith Productions comes to Tigertown. That's right, the spring training camp of the Detroit Tigers. And here we are privileged to stand with the noted manager, Mr. Sparky Anderson. Sparky, welcome to Focus on Faith as we come to your spring training camp. Well, I appreciate it, and I, I want to welcome Focus to Faith and Telemissions International and uh, have you down here to interview some of our dedicated ball players that are involved in the chapel service, and I, I think it's a great thing. Chapel service to me is one of those things that I think it's just a reminder, 20 minute, half hour reminder on Sunday that there's somebody a lot bigger than ourselves and there's somebody that made all this possible. Anyway, I, I think this is the thing that uh, chapel service does. It gives you that moment on Sunday to say, hey, it is the big man's day and he's made all this possible and let's take this time to hear somebody 
just remind us of it. And I, I enjoy listening to it for that reason. I've had so many good things happen to me over the years that I know they didn't happen by me doing it. You know, as I said, there's been nobody in the history of the world, and there'll be nobody in the history until mankind is through that'll ever top him. That's why I always call him the big guy because he's bigger than anything we've ever seen. You know, Elvis Presley was a big man. He couldn't hack it. This guy was able to, to go up there on that thing and let him nail him up there and let him do a lot of things to him. The funny thing was he walked away and came back to talk to some people again. I, I've never heard of anybody that could walk away from all that <laughs> and be able to be seen again. So I, I think the guy's pretty big, you know. When you could do that and be seen by everybody and every now and then, pay a visit to people even nowadays and straighten them up a little bit. You, you're real big. I, I think myself, I'll pay a little attention to him because uh, he's really something unbelievable. And, and I think this is a thing that's so great. It went to chapel service. Well, I want to remind him one thing. He ain't letting you get away either. You know, I got a strong feeling that he keeps a scorecard. I don't know. I got a funny thing. I think there's such a thing up there as a winner and a loser. You know, I, I don't think he just invented these games and had winners and losers, football, basketball, tennis, hockey. But I do think he dropped in a little, one more thing. He dropped in a winner or loser up there. Now, he'll keep the record. You go ahead and do whatever you want. You know, he gave you freedom of will. That's one thing. He said, you know, people say, well, why do people do these things? Why don't he don't stop it? No, he don't intend to stop it. That's he true, gave Mark. you freedom of will. You do whatever your heart desires. Yeah. But just one moment, when you disappear from here, you better hope that the scorecard was running good. Right now, I'm running a little behind. I'm going to try. I'm trying to pick it up a little better. I'm a little, little behind on my card. I, I don't want to go right now while I'm talking to you. I kind of hope that it waits a little while yet. I've had so many good things happen to me over the years that I know they didn't happen by me doing it. You know, I, that thing about you turn yourself over to him and it'll all work. And and I think that's so. I, you know, we all continue to do wrong. You know, there's a spot in the Bible that says. When you think you've sinned for the last time, just look around because you got one more coming. I found that with me that every time I think I got the last one out of me, here comes another one. But I do know this, he will forgive it if, uh, if you truly care. You know, Sparky, you say those words in the lingo of a real baseball coach, a real veteran whom we admire tremendously in the baseball world and in your personal life, thank God. And, uh, you know, you'll be happy to understand we just this past week honored the founder of Baseball Chapel, Wadi Spolstra, at a big banquet over here at Plant City, Florida, in the Holiday Inn, when Telemission sponsored that banquet, and he was so elated. But he speaks so affectionately of all of you fellas and those guys that take their time on Sunday morning to worship the Lord Jesus Christ and read the Bible together to have a positive footing in their faith. And it's a great thing for America and Canada and the world to hear through your voice today, your respect and dedication in that direction as well. One last question, Sparky. How many years now in professional baseball? It's 34. It's 34 for me. Uh, I'm 52 now. Everybody thinks I'm about 82, but I'm 52. And Indeed. Focus on Faith salutes Sparky Anderson. God oh, bless you, My Sparky. pleasure, Doctor. Thank you. Pleasure to have been with you. Thank you out there. Thank you for joining us today with our sincere hope that you have been blessed as we have. Now you're watching Focus on Faith with our guests sharing their timeless testimony. Now in closing, today's testimony may have impacted someone out there and God is speaking to you right now. And that person wants to commit their life to follow Christ. Friend, I would encourage you to start by reading your Bible and to begin to practice what the Bible says. And I pray that you will get strong in the desire to go out and to find a good Bible teaching church to join. And please don't let yourself get distracted, but rather that you will make this a priority in your life to seek God's will for a new life in Christ. Now, if you want to know more about having a more abundant and fulfilling life, then this booklet, Beginning with Christ, written by Navigators International, is a great way to get started and I want to send this to you absolutely free. If you will simply email us at info at and request this free booklet there. And if you have a specific prayer request, let us know. We want to include that request in our daily prayer time. 
Now, in closing, if you would like to know more about Telemissions International and how this unique ministry got started, just visit our website, telemissions.org. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment on our website and tell your friends about this new and exciting series of programs. Now, we all know the power of a personal testimony, and this and many more classic testimonies like this will continue to spread the light, helping others around the world through God's Lighthouse. That's right, God's Lighthouse. This picture you see here of the Lighthouse is on the stormy shores of the Outer Banks and is our hallmark, that's right, signifying the importance of Telemissions International reaching out to multitudes for Christ. Just think of it, every timeless testimony that is being broadcast is like a beacon of light beaming out the good news on the stormy shores of cyberspace for decades to come. So please, won't you consider sharing it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever you can do to help spread that light. Now, thanks again for joining us today. This is Dr. Gordon Anderson, Jr. sharing with you our prayer promise. And that prayer promise is Psalm 121, verse 2 which says, My help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And please remember to start every day in prayer. Now, God's richest blessings as you focus your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a winner and a loser, you know. I, I don't think he just invented these games and had winners and losers, football, basketball, tennis, hockey. But I do think he dropped in a little, one more thing. He dropped in a winner or loser up there. Now, he'll keep the record. You go ahead and do whatever you want. And he gave you freedom of will. That's one thing he said to you. People say, well, why do people do these things? Why don't he don't stop it? No, he don't intend to stop it. That's he true, gave right. you freedom of will. You do whatever your heart desires. But just one moment, when you disappear from here, you better hope that the scorecard was running good.